Okay, I figured uh, I'd make a quick little video. Um, this is a problem I ran into early on uh, that <sighs> drove me crazy. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a specific to closed loop stepper or both closed and open loop. But um, if you look right here on ranch. So I didn't basically choose a sequence. I just let the computer figure out where the sequence was going to be at. And for some reason, it started with half the A in CH. This was the first thing that it cut. Um, if you notice, it's all dropped down, I don't know, a little over an inch. Uh, the last thing that it cut after cutting all of this was the R and the other piece of the A. So that's why it's shifted. So somewhere in there, it missed steps. Um, in the beginning, so closed loop, back up. So closed loop is supposed to recognize that it missed steps and self-correct. And that's what it's done throughout all the rest of these. It's self-corrected, um, leaving this twisted off like that. It would have been fine if it would have started here and just stayed with that throughout the whole thing, but no. So if you're having issues with it missing steps, um, I'm going to take you over to the computer and the software and show you what I did to figure it out. Um, the, I, I had this issue in the very beginning when I first was setting the table up. And then uh, this is the first big item that I have uh, produced with the table. I've done probably, I don't know, four or five full four by eight sheets worth of smaller projects and smaller signs. This is about two foot by four foot. Uh, so this is the first big one that I've done and it threw up that ugly thing right there. Wasted a quarter of a sheet of plate. Um, I can cut it and fix it and I, I plan to, but uh, regardless, I wanna show you guys how to fix this with the my Plasm CNC software. Um, if you go on the program here and you notice right here, these are your micro stepping settings, which you will find um, so mine was set at oh, we're, I think we were at 10,000 here and I want to say we were at 1600 here and we were at a thousand no 1600 here no 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 we were a thousand so if you notice they've all turned yellow which is not optimal um so I've gone through and changed these to where now we're gonna let's see we were there drop to 5000 and then on z this is the one we had to drop down to 800 and this is the one we had to go all the way to 400. So in order to turn all three of these green, those are the numbers that I had to come up with. Now this is based off of your travel, your travel per single rotation of the stepper motor. Um, in the very beginning, I had these numbers all whacked out and I actually had some of these that were red and it was missing steps like crazy. Now, when you change the micro stepping here, you have to make sure and go to the drivers and set the dip switches to match those numbers. Otherwise you'll be in a really big mess. But um, just a short little video just to kind of tell you if you're having problems with it missing steps, at least on the MyPlasm software, uh, check, check your micro stepping because that has been a problem in the very beginning and it took me a, a while to figure it out. Um, and cutting this big load up again. Now I've done, oh God, I don't know, I've cut probably six full sheets of, you know, four by eight sheets of steel uh, in smaller signs uh, or whatever you want to call them, uh, projects. But this is the first one that's actually two foot by four foot of any decent size. And it started missing steps way down the table. So, um, anyway, uh, I'm going to go back in and now I got to go dismount each driver and set the micro stepping to match these numbers. Now, I've picked these numbers and 
if you have not run the machine before, it will only give you a ballpark. So right now these are all showing green. I'll go change all the dip switch settings and then make a few test cuts. Then come back and check this again. And it will basically analyze and figure out, okay, yes, uh, these numbers are acceptable or it'll change one of these to yellow or red or whatever the case is that will give you an indication that, hey, this is uh, not working out. Uh, I've had enough usage on it now that I should be able just to flip to them like I have here, turn them green, and I'll set the uh, drivers to that micro-stepping, and I guess we're going to try to cut it again. So, uh, if you're having problems with it missing steps, with the, with the Proma, uh, I would start here. Um, hope that helps. So on the crap. Okay, so on the front of this, it'll have the settings for all the speeds. So we're y-axis here, and I've got the y set at 5,000. Scroll up here, 5,000 off, off, on, off. Yeesh. Okay, so it's SW1. Okay, off, off, on. Wait a minute. No. Ow, off, off, on, off. It tells you on the little dip switch right here. So on is basically that way. So we want it off, off, on, off. Check it again. 5,000 off, off, on, off. Okay. So that one's set. Now, because we're running dual y-axis, we have to do it to both of the y-axis. Basically, I'm just loosening them. Okay, off, off. Do not like you. Dip switches. Okay, off, off, on, off. 5,000, off, off, on, off. All right, good there. Okay. Okay, X axis. Yes, those top ones only have one screw in the top of each one, but it works, so I'm not complaining. Okay, the X axis, I have it set at 400, so mighty low. So I believe the more if I, if I remember correctly. Um, crap. This one doesn't have 400. It has 800 and 200. Alright, so it has 800 and 200 for, that's for the X. So let's see what we can come up with here.
so yeah, it puts it at yellow, and it'll go yellow, and then orange, and then red. Oh. See, there's orange. Still orange. Jeez, what's it gonna take to go red? Well, I guess it doesn't. Okay. I'll go 800 and call that good. Like I said, once you run it, uh, it'll, I guess, self-evaluate. And uh, <clears throat> those colors could change. All right, so if we're at 800, we're off, on, on, on. Jeez. First one's off. Rest of them, well, the preceding three are on. Okay. Let's see what that gets us. Hopefully that gets us close to the party. Oh, well. I will tell you that cutting full-size sheets or big ones like that get expensive quick. Last but not least, a good old Z. Actually, I think we can change the Z. So because this is not a closed loop, this is just a standard open loop stepper, I can get to the dip switches right here on the side. <clears throat> For the Z axis, we've got it set at 800. Let's look on here. <laughs> See, this one has 400. Uh, 800 is on, off, on, on. Okay, so. That should be it. So that's pretty much it. But that's uh, if you're missing steps. That's where I would start. Uh, if if I remember it correctly, the higher the number on your micro stepping, the finer the detail you can get out of it. Um, but I still, don't think we're going to have any issue. Uh, the quality's been second to none so far. So. Um, that's where we're sitting at. 